So why are we here today? I'm pleased to announce that the nation's next big development in space technology is a major investment in getting to Mars. NASA will partner with our longtime partner, DARPA, to develop and demonstrate advanced nuclear thermal propulsion, a revolutionary technology that will allow the United States to expand the possibilities for future human spaceflight missions. Our goal is to launch and demonstrate a successful nuclear thermal engine as soon as 2027. The idea of nuclear thermal propulsion is not new to NASA or to many. A half century ago, the United States conducted its last nuclear thermal engine test under NASA's nuclear engine for rocket vehicle application and rover projects. Here's what we learned and we know to be true. Conventional chemical propulsion is not the most efficient way for our astronauts to do a deep space mission. Nuclear thermal propulsion is much more powerful with two to five times the efficiency of chemical propulsion. And with the help of this propulsion system, astronauts will be able to journey to and from deep space faster than ever, a major capability to prepare for crewed missions to Mars. Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy has led NASA's strategy for sustained human presence in deep space. Our Moon to Mars objectives are guiding our work and we are now beginning to outline the architecture for future exploration, not only with nuclear thermal, but also possibly with nuclear electric propulsion. Expanding our partnership with DARPA and its DRACO program will help and it will help us create a new era of space transportation. One small step is one giant leap for humankind. And this partnership will take us one step closer as we dare to explore the unknown. Let us dare to ignite the future farther, faster, together. Congratulations to both NASA and DARPA on this exciting investment in the future of human space exploration.